Hello everybody, this is Reviews and More, back with a quick follow-up review on the Ninja Foodie Pan. This is a little 10-inch pan from, Nin from the company Ninja. I've done a 30-day follow-up and initial review, and there you see it's all dirty, because this thing's been used about twice a week for about a year. So we're talking about probably close to 100 plus probably closer to 150 uses because in that first 30 day review I've made sure to use at least once a day so we're looking at one between like 120 and 150 different uses of this pan over time and I will say the one difference between this pan and many of the other enamel non-stick stuff out there is that I uh, I throw this one in the dishwasher unabashedly so it says on the instructions you can do that so that's what I do and the first test we do as always with the egg we always test with wet stuff because wet stuff is the stuff that tends to stick later on and we're going to do the worst case scenario that is the cold start that's like the situation where you're like you throw the pan on the burner and you're thinking oh it's good. The, the burner's on you throw your wet food on top of it and then it doesn't cook and you're like oh god i just threw all my wet food on top of that cold cold pan now it's going to be sticky and gross and it's not going to cook right etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is kind of like that worst case scenario so here we go. You can see it still retains a lot of its non-stick elements. Um, one thing about the Ninja Foodie brand is there is nothing on the package that indicates whether or not this is enamel cookware or some kind of Teflon derivative or something similar. They're kind of, uh, I guess, hush-hush about it, for lack of a better term. Maybe there's some information on their website now, a year later, but... At the time, there wasn't a whole lot there. It feels like enamel, but the material is a little more rough. So it, so when you, uh, you see me do the uh, oiled test, it's not going to move around and flow quite as much. So it does kind of hold the stuff in place without sticking to the pan or burning on the pan. Obviously, as you can see here, this is a year later, and even with a cold start, it does not stick. So that's a good deal, which means this thing's working as it's intended to work, and it's still maintained all that non-stickiness, or sorry, the yeah, the non-stickiness over time, this, the uh, non-adhesion, all that fun stuff. And overall, really happy with the result a year later. So this is one of those pans that companies that puts out like an entire cookware set, and I would say as long as you take care of it, this stuff's going to last you a good long time. Um, one thing I would point out is don't use metal on these things. They all, Sometimes they'll advertise if they can use metal, but they, they just, no, just don't do it. They're, it's not worth losing the pan over. Use silicone. Wood's even okay to an extent as long as it's not like super hard or like anything else. Or, like, like, or have little elements of things in there that shouldn't be in there, like grit or something. And there you see the hot test taking place. Obviously, it's a little more clean because the pan was already hot. But um, this is hot without any kind of grease on it. But again, overall, the main thing is to care for the pan. And I even follow the instructions and put it on the bottom rack in the dishwasher. So even with that, with the harsh chemicals that go into washing dishes in a dishwasher, this thing has still maintained most, if not all, of its non-stick non, uh, non properties. So really happy with the results. Again, I'll reiterate, it's all about the care. So that's a big part of it. So if you are somebody who is rough on their dishes fling like leaves them in the sink soaking for hours on end with soap or throws like f dinnerware on top of them or like leaves a d uh, sink full of dishes on a regular basis maybe don't go with this i'd recommend some honestly strangely enough i recommend some higher in stainless steel because you're not going to hurt it um but if you're someone who cooks cleans the pan throws it back on the top of the stove to cook again with later this is probably a good bet for you. And they obviously make a, lo a lot of different things. They make pots. They make bigger pots for them, smaller pans, different kind of stir fry kits, kind of, that kind of stuff. You can buy like a 15 or 20 piece set, I think, for like 120 bucks from various big box stores. It's going to do the job. And here's the last test is obviously using the greased pan. So there you see just some pan, which is all that is, is canola oil or rapeseed oil, depending on where you live. If you're in the UK, it'd be like rapeseed oil. If, it's, if you're in the America, we don't like calling things rape. So that means that we're going to go ahead and do the... Um, we call it canola oil here. So there you go. You see it kind of moves around, but still kind of wants to stick. The sticking there is not a result of it sticking to the pan like it's cooking onto it. It's a result of the material of the pan being kind of rough to the touch, and that's by design. They want it to basically hold the food in place, but not actually have it stick to the pan. You, there, you see the kind of the egg whites and yolk kind of moving around and even like popping a little bit because it's still kind of stuck to the other side, but not actually 
cooked on to it. So it's not actually, it still moves, it still cleans. You see it pop right off there. All those little pieces of egg white, they're going to clean off basically just with a couple touches of the silicone spatula I use there. So overall, guys, a year later, this thing still works the day like it like the day I got it. You can go back and look at that first initial unboxing review as well as the 30-day follow-up, and you're going to see almost the exact same behavior with this cooking test. So other than that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this, leave a comment if you have any questions, and have a great day.